Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 16th of 2022 well, it is titled in the arms of NGC 1097. So what do we see here? Now well, this is an, a spiral galaxy and known by the catalog designation NGC 1097. And it is, uh, as I said, a typical spiral galaxy with the spiral arms stretching around and wrapping around the central core of the galaxy. And we note that the uh, spiral arms are distinctly blue and pink. And those two colors are both associated with the star formation that goes on within a spiral galaxy. The blue color is from blue star clusters, which are located within the galaxy. So they are within the spiral arms. They're very young blue star clusters. And because these very young stars and hot stars don't live a very long time, we know that they had to have formed recently. That being something within the last few million years in order for them to still be seen today. The pink color is similarly associated with star formation. It is the glow of the hydrogen gas that is excited by those hot stars and caused to glow. Now we also see other galaxies in this image, including a companion galaxy to NGC 1097. And that is up towards the upper right. It's kind of wrapped up in the spiral arms there. Now galaxies do come in groups and galaxies do smaller galaxies do often orbit larger galaxies as we have with our own Milky Way as well. And eventually those can become disrupted and combined into the larger galaxy. So this is how galaxies grow over time, eventually consuming one another and becoming larger and larger galaxies. Now, while that may not necessarily be happening at this instant to that companion galaxy, we have to remember that this is also three dimensional. So this could also be a little bit above or below. So it is not necessarily right within the galaxy as it appears in the image. It is about 40,000 light years away from the central part of the galaxy, but is one that could eventually become disrupted. And we also see perhaps the remnants of other signs of this. If we look at the jets of material kind of going out from the central portions of the larger spiral galaxy, those may be material that is was disrupted what we call tidal streams from material that was disrupted from other galaxies that have been consumed. So the galaxies do not just immediately grab all of the material, but they disrupt or tear apart the smaller galaxy. And then many much of that material ends up being incorporated within the larger galaxy. So this is how we believe galaxies have grown over time from the very small galaxies that existed shortly after the Big Bang to the large spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see today. So that was our picture of the day for November 16th of 2022. It was titled In the Arms of NGC 1097. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.